Boy, it's been a long time since I did a car video. I'm doing videos in the car and shit, man. I've really been doing videos lying, lying down. You know, I can concentrate better that way. But anyway, man, I want to talk about this dating scene in America, man. It has gotten out of hand and, you know, the, the upper ups, the people on top, they ain't trying to do nothing about it, man. So it's going to get worse and worse. You know, the people on top, bro, they, the people who run the country, bro, the shit don't, it don't affect them. It affects the average guy. And that's why dudes are getting passports and leaving the country, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers getting passports and leaving the country. We got like a movement out here, bro. Passport bros. Uh, I forgot what's that dude's name. I forgot his name, man. Can't forget it. I can't remember his name, but there's a lot of like YouTube channels, man, talking about going overseas and shit. It's getting hectic out here, bro. I remember when I was younger, man, it was a lot easier to find sex. Not no more. Nowadays, if you make the wrong move, you lose out on sex. It's like you gotta simp your way to this female's heart out here, man. Nowadays, you gotta simp your way to her heart. And I'm not a simp, man. I don't like wanna simp for these females, man. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to open up doors and, I mean, I'll do it, but, you know, not all the time and shit. Like this one chick I was dating a while back, man, she she expected me to open her car door for her, to let her in and shit. And I'm like, nah, I don't do that. She got mad and upset about that. get upset or they, they, they're against it and shit and they got something to say about it something smart to say and I'm like look here you bitches are being too picky and choosy so guess what we gotta do we gotta go overseas right simple as that we gotta go overseas how many times have bitches flaked out on me how many times have bitches ghosted me you know how many times I could count how many times on two hands I've been ghosted within the last couple of years man well you know before I started before the pandemic I was dating getting ghosted getting to run around females wasn't giving up sex easily like they used to I remember that shit, bro. Nowadays, man, the Chaz and Tyrones are the only ones eating out here right now, man. Literally. They the only ones having sex on a regular basis. You gotta be a Chad or a Tyrone to have sex on a regular basis nowadays, man. You see what I'm saying? Chad or Tyrone to have sex on the rag. Because believe me, bro, you lose females really quickly out here nowadays. You could date her for a couple of months, but if you make a wrong move or do something that she don't like, she's out of there, bro. Even if she's fat. I remember before the pandemic, I was dating this fat chick. <laughs> and, and and she gave, you know, she didn't want me. She didn't, uh, well, I mean, I didn't do nothing. Let's put it this way. I didn't do what she wanted to to do I didn't do what she wanted me to do she so she gave me an ultimatum so I said fuck it I'm not trying to hang on to a fat bitch 
You're fat to me. I don't, I don't want to hang on to that shit. You know? And as soon as I just said, nah, I'm not doing what you tell me to do or I'm not doing what you want me to do, she vanished. Poof. And I ain't never seen a fat bitch vanish so goddamn quickly like that. The bitch got options. And they don't come back either. Bitches got options. Fat bitches got options. All kinds of bitches got options out here, bro. The, let me tell you. Let me tell you what fucked it up, man. It was the date naps, bro. The date naps fucked everything up. It fucked the whole entire nation up when it comes to dating. And this is what the, the higher ups, this is what they're not paying attention to. The reason why your population, your baby population is going down is because of the day naps. You get rid of those, man. You know, women, they will be forced to go to bars and clubs and meet men instead of sitting on their ass at home, you know, messing with their goddamn uh, phone, going th all, all up on Tinder and shit. You know, a lot of you females, you bitches took advantage of them date naps. So guess what? We taking advantage of going overseas. Don't you bitches use those fucking goddamn date naps? Every time I see you bitches, you, bitch are, you bitches are on the fucking corner twiddling on your fucking goddamn phone going through uh, 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 you know, accounts and shit, swiping left, swiping right. So then you, you shame us, especially black men. You shame us for going overseas. Ah, I get it. It's only wrong when a black man does it. When a black man does it, is wrong. You know, white men, they could do whatever and nobody criticized them for going overseas. It's only when black men are doing it. You see what I'm saying? So, a motherfucker get tired of getting ghosted, bruh. You see what I'm saying? A motherfucker get tired of getting ghosted. Tired of it. Oh, shit. The market closed. I should have known they were closed. It's late. You know what I'm saying? Look, man. Out here, you got to have money to even women to pay attention to you. If I had a whole lot of money in my pocket, bro, not just a hundred grand, but if I had millions, then yeah, I, I, I will get the women that I desire. I could tell, man, if I was out here, if I had money, but out here, but but you would go broke out here trying to oppress these bitches. So guess what you got to do, man? You got to go overseas, man. And, and men are being shamed for going overseas, bro. We get, they got channels dedicated to dissing us. <laughs> they got channels dedicated to dissing us for going going overseas, man. Oh, these guys are lame. Oh, they're going overseas because it's better. Out there, it's better. Women are... Well, you know what? Women ain't got them motherfucking options out there like they do out here in the West. You bitches, when you get options, you start becoming more picky and shit. So why deal with you? Why deal with you? We go overseas. Ain't no bullshit. And, and, and let me tell you the truth. These women are impoverished, and that's how we like it, bro. Because <laughs> we got them where they want you. I mean, we 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 got we got them where we want them. Cornered. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh, you taking advantage over these poor girls. These women who are poor. You taking advantage. You know what? Because you bitches, when you get money and you get good jobs and shit, you start becoming picky, you start becoming choosy, you start becoming more about looks than what what the man could do for him, or do for you, I mean. You see what I'm saying? So, you bitches are taking advantage of the date naps, so we men are taking advantage of going overseas. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And you, you wonder why there's a lot of incels going around shooting on motherfuckers. You bitches love to reject motherfuckers all the time, man. And then you, then you get up on your high horse and think you better than somebody. Chasing after Chad Tyrone all day long. 
chasing the, the, the top 10% of men out here, bro. And they don't even get these men. They can wish them. I mean, they can wish they could, you know, they can wish to have these men, but they can't. You know? Just like when Kevin Samuels died, man, a lot of these bitches, they, they praised on it. Kevin Samuels died, they, they laughed and cheered for that shit. See, well, why we gotta deal with women like that, though? Why we gotta deal with women like that? You praising the man because he dead? Because he died? Really? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here. I just wish that I can get out of this country right now. I can't get out of this fucking country fast enough, bro. And anything is about women, they wait till it's too late to chase you and shit. You know, just like overseas, they do the same thing overseas, man. They wait till they get knocked up by their men or the bad boy or Chad and Tyrone, then they come running towards you. Uh, no, nah, no, thank you, baby. We can fuck, but now nah, we ain't no ain't no relationship popping off. I don't love single mothers. I hate them. And I hate them with a fucking passion. Single mothers, they only wait. To, you know, they wait till it's too late. They wait till they get knocked up. And, and you know, one of the reasons one of the reasons why I hate single mothers is because they come checking for you after they got knocked up by their first choice. And then they look at you, the, oh, this is my second choice. You know, I used to date a single mother a while back, my ex-girlfriend. You know, her first choice was a tall white dude. You know, I, you know, her daughter was tall. Her daughter was just as tall as me, five nine and shit. That's tall in the West. And then, and I'm I'm five nine. Okay, yeah, that was her second choice. If all else fails, go after the five nine guys, five ten guys. I'm somewhere around there, five nine, five ten. Go after them. You deal with the six foot guy first, or the six foot six, six foot five, and then if, if all else fails, and when they stop uh, 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 pushing you around and throwing you around like a rag doll, you go after the five nine guys, five ten guys. That's what they do. They save the, the, the best for worse, or the worst for last. That's what they do. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to do what they want to do, man. They, they want, they want, they want to get out here and do as they please. But then, as you do as you please, like going overseas, all of a sudden they got a problem with it. Oh, these fucking men, they ain't nobody trying to talk to them anyway. Oh yeah, bitch. Going overseas, bitch. Let me tell you, these the, the the women from overseas, man, they they give me the most action over here in America. These American bitches, they think they all that in a bag of goddamn chips. Walking around like they fucking shit don't stink. So man, get your fucking passports, bro. This is never gonna change. Matter of fact, over the years, man, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse and worse each year that goes by. It has gotten worse. America is on a fucking sex drought, man. A lot of men are not having sex. I know I'm not having sex as much as I used to. Them dating apps destroyed everything, bro. We need to ban those that shit, bro. Nah, it's a multi-million dollar in, in, industry, or a multi-million dollar, or a multi-billion dollar industry. Can't get rid of it. Nope, I'm sorry. Well, fuck you. I'm going overseas, bitch. For real. And now you bitches are shaming us men for going overseas? I karate chopped your motherfucking ass. Shut the fuck up.
we're going overseas. We're forgetting about you bitches. Let me tell you, my man Campbell, if he was over here, he would be in cell, bro. He wouldn't even have that woman he's with right now. If he was in America, he'd be in a sex drought. He wouldn't be getting nothing. Even though he with a single mother, that's still a come up for him. You know, that's a come up. Fuck all that, man. I'm gonna end the video. You guys have a good night. Peace out, take care, and bless. I'm out. I'm out.